Welcome to California's Central Valley, where we grow up to 250,000 tons of wonderful pomegranates each year on our three Central Valley ranches. After a summer of ripening, the pomegranates are ready to pick. Harvest lasts only four to six weeks, so we plan our picking and processing well in advance. As harvest nears, crop evaluators decide when and where to start. They estimate what the yield will be and what percentage will be sold as fresh fruit, juice, or arrows. Workers handpick fresh quality pomegranates first. Fruit that will become juice or arrows is picked after that. Around 180 crews pick during peak weeks, and each crew can harvest about one truckload per day. Sunburned, scarred, and blackheart fruits are quality defects and cannot be picked as fresh or arrows fruit. Bins are tagged with information about which crew picked the fruit and which ranch and block it came from. Bins are loaded on trucks. Then the trucks head off to the packing and distribution plant in Del Rey, about 90 miles away. The trucks arrive at our Del Rey plant. There, fresh pomegranates will be processed as fresh fruit, turned into juice, or packaged as pomegranate arrows. Our Del Rey plant covers 450 acres, and in addition to processing areas, has offices, a cafeteria, and a well-equipped gym. Pomegranates are sent to one of four processing locations, Plant 1, Plant 2, the Moff Line, or the Scholar Line. They go through a 12-step process. Bin dump, washing, pre-grade, visual sort, hand sort, fungicide, waxing, drying, mechanical sizing and grading, computer sizing and grading, and finally, hand packing into retail packages, which are sent to finished goods storage. In plant one, a computer-operated camera grades and sizes each pomegranate. Fruit that is to be packed immediately gets a PLU sticker and is placed in display bins or cartons. Fruit that will be stored for later use is put into bins called setbacks. They're called that because fruit is literally set back until it's needed. With all the different size, grade, and package types, there are over 100 SKUs. After the fruit is packed, it is palletized and sent to finished goods storage, where it stays until it's shipped. Fruit that will be stored in bins for later use is sent to either cold storage, called CS, or controlled atmosphere storage, called CA. Fruit that will be held longer is put into CA. CA is higher quality storage with a tightly controlled environment, where fruit can be stored up to 12 weeks. Fruit that will be shipped sooner is put into CS. Processing in Plant 2 is similar to Plant 1. In Plant 2, however, fruit is transported via water flume to minimize damage. The main role of Plant 2 is to pack cartons for domestic and international customers. No display bins are packed in Plant 2. The third processing location, the MOF line, pre-sorts and pre-sizes fruit for setback storage. No bins or cartons are packed. The fourth processing location, called the Scholar Line, is used only when the other plants have reached maximum capacity. Here's what happens in each plant. Plant 1 packs display bins, cartons, and setback bins. Plant 2 packs just cartons and setback bins. The MOF Line sizes and grades fruit for setback bins. No fruit is packed in the MOF line. The Scholar line washes fruit, applies fungicide, and puts fruit into setback bins without sizing or grading. Some pomegranates are selected to be processed as juice. First, they're separated by hand, then by machine, then they're transported to the juice plant by gondola. While the fruit is being juiced, a separate facility fabricates and labels the bottles. At the juice plant, bottles are filled, sealed, packaged, 
and sent to finished goods storage. Some fruit is sent to our new state-of-the-art arils processing plant. Individual arils are extracted and packed into 8-ounce and 4.3-ounce cups. Cartons are palletized and sent to finished goods inventory. Finally, pallets of fruit, juice, and arils are loaded onto trucks, and the trucks hit the road to deliver delicious pomegranate products to people around the world.